Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing a CC shopping video as well as a haul, and I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite CC managing programs. I have a fair amount of CC already in my game and I actually have a lot that I need to clear out, but that does not stop me from wanting all of the new CC that's coming out every week. And starting with one of my favourite creators that I came to check out, Sims Trouble, they do amazing Maxis match hairs. And I definitely don't have this one, the Camilla hair. Look how amazing this swatch is, it has an accessory as well I think with colours. Like you can pick coloured highlights and stuff like that. And then there's another one, there, Hermine, is that how you say that? Look at the butterflies, oh my god I need both of these. And yeah, I have that one. So we're going to download this one and we're also going to go ahead and download this Camila one. Like look at the detailing, it's super long. I feel like when you find really nice high quality Maxis match hairs, you just have to go for them. I can't wait to use these butterflies. Sims Trouble did another hair a while ago that had butterflies or something like that and I loved it. It was so beautiful. And then the next creator that I wanted to check out was Sims 3 Melancholic and they have a browse collection here. This is for male Sims and they have, I think, is that eight brows? Yeah, there's eight different brows here. And I have a lot of Sims 3 Melancholics brows already, so it's nice to kind of stock up on new ones. So we're going to go ahead and download these. And by the way, I'll be linking all of these creators down below so that you can check them out as well. Next, we have one of my favorite skin details creators, Northern Siberia Winds, and they have actually updated some of their old skins. And it says here that they fixed some broken presets with the new expansion pack. And if you watched my recent video where I was talking about how my toddlers look really weird, it might be because of this. So I might have to download this. Download updated presets. I think I have a lot of these presets, so I might just download all of them. And if I don't have them already in my game, I get some new ones. So that's nice. The next creator that we're going to be checking out is Samandi. I don't really think I have a lot of their stuff, but I've been seeing a lot of their stuff on Twitter recently. They have this new collection, Drown in the Night. And when you click on the preview, like the stuff here like the theme is just immaculate it's so great i love the theme it's very autumn winter like date night but also i don't know it's just kind of like something you'd see in a teen like tv show i don't know why i think of like riverdale but i don't know i think it's like the dark colors and stuff but i love it and they also have a lot of long hairstyles which drew me to their page in the first place and like look at this one like who how many long hairs like this maxis match can you see that are such high quality and on top of that they have the two-tone defect which just makes it feel more special and unique so out of these sections like to be honest i even though i think this is really cool i don't think i'd be giving my sims super super long hair like this but maybe I will download it. I think I'll download all three versions because I think they're very versatile. The next creator that I'm going to be checking out is Johnny Sims. He's one of my favorite male CC hair creators and I feel like every time I go on here there's always new hair like every week so I'm gonna download all of these. Oh no this one's not public release until like next week. Okay we'll have to get these ones. Oh my god that one's so cool. Look at that and it's unisex as well. This one the Esteban hair. Look at this. We're downloading all of these. I don't have this one. Oh my god, the Grayson hair. Look at that. Is They're really good with curly hairstyles as well. And they also usually have a no strands option as well if you don't like the super Maxis mix look. Okay, so I didn't read that for this hair. It says that it publicly releases on the 29th of December, which is actually my birthday. And then this one releases on Christmas Eve. So I have to wait for these ones as well. But we did get the Grayson and the Hendrix hair, which is good enough. Next, we're going to be checking out Aretha B, which is definitely one of my favorite CC creators for a ton of different types of CC, like hair, clothing, accessories. And I'm already seeing some things that I don't have in my game that I definitely want, like this Alexis hair. Oh my God. And this Alex hair, is that like the same? Oh no, it's part of the hair set, I guess. This is all part of the same set. And one thing that I've realized when I CC shop is that I exclusively look for female sim stuff. And then when I'm playing The Sims later, I'm like, oh my god, I don't have any male CC. So I'm gonna actually download some of this male CC from Aretha B because look how great it looks. Like I could have been using this for god knows how long. I probably have this collection, but I've not been using it because I've just been looking at the female CC. And also I'm looking at this dress and thinking that I do have it, but I feel the need to download it anyway, just in case, because I, I really love the look of it. I mean, look at all of this male CC. It's very versatile, the stuff they have. I feel so blind to have not seen it before. And then this whole collection. I think I have some of this stuff, but not all of it. I think I downloaded a couple of the items. And next, we're going to be checking out Cryptic Sim, which is one of my favorite makeup CC creators. And I don't know, I feel like I don't have this daisy eyeshadow, so I'm gonna get that and then basically download everything that looks good that I know I don't have. I don't think I have this 333 palette, I might download that. Oh, and this Bailey eyeliner, I don't think I have that either. The Plum Bob palette, I love how it's called palettes as well, it just makes it feel more like fun and like real life. 
Christmas and chill. I don't know what this is. We'll have to check that out. I mean, it is Christmas season, so I have to check it out, right? Oh my God, the Carmi palette. Carmen King, shout out. I love her. And then the Catwalk palette. I don't think I have that either. There's so much makeup here. I always like to come back and download more for later because I like to kind of spread it out. Okay, next we're going to be checking out Just Sims, which is one of my favorite CC creators for shoes. And they have loads of collections, like from years back, I think and loads of different collections for different types of sims as well. So the most recent publicly available one that I found is this children's collection and I do not have this. Look how cute the slippers, the sandals, the trainers, the kind of party formal shoes. And then they have a Y2K collection with ones with like leg warmers and sneakers with wrapper and laces platform sandals, platform boots. I love it. And the color selection is amazing for all of these collections too. And then a cottage collection too. So many different types of collections for different types of fashion senses and sims. And the detail is amazing. Like it's perfect for alpha. It's perfect for Maxis match. It's perfect for everyone who wants really good CC. And I'd say they post new collections like multiple times a month, like every few weeks, I'd say. So if you're looking for new shoes, go to Just Sims. I'll link it down below. They are one of my favorite CC creators of all time. And the last CC creator that we're going to be checking out is Serenity CC, which is one of my favorite CC creators for all types of clothes. And they have a ton of different collections. They did a kind of collection for the Horse Ranch pack. They did one for Barbie. They have loads of different amazing high quality CC collections. And out of these ones, I think the last one I downloaded was the Apricot set. So I need to download this Poison set, which looks very cool with the deep colors. And then the vanilla set. Ooh, two different vibes. Okay, so this is the poison set. It's very like high class vibes, dark red, like very Bella goth to me. I love dressing my Sims this way recently. Like you might have seen from my creator Sims, I love using like red dresses or like little black dresses with dark kind of bold makeup. And then over here we have the vanilla set, which is kind of the opposite. It's more neutral colors, more casual, soft vibes. Look at the cat on the skirt. Oh my God, look at that. I love that. Now on to the CC managing program. I want to showcase. It is called the Sims 4 Mod Manager and this is my favorite program or the only program that I really use to better visualize and manage my CC. I feel like when you start to have thousands of files, like I have 3700 files in my game, it's really good to have a program that you can see all of your CC if you want to delete something or move something out of it. And it also has the ability to update your mods, which sometimes I forget it can do that. And now that I'm actually here, there's some things that I want to remove from my game that I don't use anymore. And from this, if you want to delete CC, you can just filter things. So if I want to delete some eye contacts, I can just go to female or head, whatever, go to category, um, go to makeup go to face pain and then there's all of these eye contacts that I can delete. So I kind of want to delete the ones that I don't use. So say I want to delete some of these contacts, I can just click on these like this and then say I want to just delete those, I can go over here to the bin or the trash can, whatever you call it, and delete them. And this is also the program that I use to make CC lists because it's so much easier to find what a CC item's called from this program than trying to find it through a list of image list documents. So I know to the people that don't use CC a lot or don't have a lot of CC, this might not be useful, but if you use a lot of CC and have been getting lost and want to delete things, this is a great program. And also if I remember, I'll try and link whatever this cast loading screen is because it's so cute. I think it's by Pinkish. Okay, so I have two model sims to showcase all of the stuff that we got from our CC shopping trip. We've got Mara and we've got Caspian. So let's just start with the female stuff, I guess, since we're already on Mara. So from the hairs we got, we obviously got the two Sims Trouble hairs. And oh my God, look at this hair. Oh my God, look how curly it is. This is a really nice long curly hairstyle. And of course it comes with highlights as well. Although you can't use eye contacts with these kind of highlights because they're in the face paint section, I think. Yeah, so it does clash with the eye contacts, which could be a bit of a turn off, but it's not really to me because I would happily find another way to get like CC eyes a different way than so that I could use these highlights. Like that's the kind of lilac -y color from the picture. Pink looks good. What about gray? Gray actually looks good. And then we also have the Camila hair over here, which, oh my God, I love it. Okay, we need to take this off to see it better. But look at this. It's kind of like wavy, curly at the end as well. It's really nice. I love this. And I think it suits my Sims face very well. And then there's different versions as well. Like that's with no strands. This goes behind and everything like that. I love it. Wow, look at the fiery like red color, the oranges. The red looks so good. Sims Triple knows how to market their hair because the red looks amazing with the brown. The pink looks amazing. 
the purple, the blue, like everything looks good. Then some other hair that we got was the Samandi hair and let's see how it looks. Oh my God. This is the super long one. This is very different from a lot of the hairs that I usually get, but I think it's really high quality and nice. And this is the shorter one. It's very like thick. It's very like anime cartoony vibe. I love it. Okay, I'm realizing that I forgot to download the two-tone effect with this hair, which makes me an idiot. But if you want to download it, you can go back to the website and download it. But I love this hair. And then we did get some new makeup as well from Cryptic Sim. Like this catwalk palette. Look how amazing this has so many colors. Like purples, there's pinks, golds, greens, blues, kind of reddish colors too. And then we have the Plumbog collection. A lot of different colors. Wow, I can definitely see myself using this for party looks. So that's just some of the makeup we got, but there's a lot more to go into. So let's look at the clothes. Of course, we have the Serenity collections, which is the last things that we got. And here's the Poison collection. <gasps> oh my God, look at this dress. I don't think I have a dress like this. Oh my God, let's look at the swatches. Oh, oh, the red. Oh my God, the pink. Look at that. Look at all of these colors, guys. Go and download the poison set. Now the blue. They have every color you could want, basically. And then I think the color swatches will be the same. This is gorgeous. Okay, this is one of my favorite collections from Serenity, officially. This is more of like a, oh my God, guys. Ah! One thing I love about CC is sometimes I get pieces of CC and I'm like, oh my God, this gave me inspiration for a new type of sim. And now I've got new ideas for a new sim from this outfit specifically. And then we also had the vanilla set, which is very cute. As I said, it's more like minimal vibes, very more casual as well. But yeah, I think you could dress them more up as well. And oh my God, the skirts. Oh my God. Look at these jeans. These are really nice jeans. These are per these are like the perfect base jeans that we've all wanted. Like I've been looking for jeans that are just like they work for everything. They're not too skinny. They're not too baggy. They're not too long, not too short. They fit like different body types. This one I feel like will be that and they have different colors as well, different washes. They have darker ones. Wow, I love it. And then of course we had this stuff from Aretha, like this jacket, this one over here, like all this kind of warm like sweater weather outfits. So one of the things that we got were new were these leg warmers. I'll need to change the jeans though because I'll change it into the skirt because it's not really, cla it's kind of clashing with the leg warmer shoes. But oh my God, look at these. There's so many swatches to check out. This will be perfect for like leggings, kind of like that sweater weather vibe, but in a different way. Now let's quickly move on to the male stuff that we got, which is kind of less, I guess. So there was the hairs from Johnny Sims. We got two hairs. We got the, I think this is a Grayson hair. Look at this. Wow. Oh my God. He's getting 80s realness. He looks so good. It sits his face really well. Wow. And then we also have, I can't remember what this hair was called. It was really cute. I think it was the, the Hendrix hair. That's what it was called. Look how smart he looks. Look how smart he looks. Oh my God. Okay. This is his new hair, I think. And then, oh wait, no, the eyebrows. We got eyebrows as well from Sims 3 Melancholic. New eyebrows for male Sims is everything because I've been using the same like twisted cat brows for so long. Oh wait, they're here. And oh my God, look at these. Why do they all fit him so well? Look at these ones. Okay, these ones are winning so far for him. These ones have like different slits on them. Like this has a heart. Look at the design on that. These are more bushy ones. Okay, these aren't part of the collection. Look at these guys, wow. And now let's move on to some of the clothes that I did get for the male Sims from Aretha mainly, I think. Oh yeah, and that collection from Samandi, I forgot about that. We need to check out the female option as well. But look at these. This jacket is so cute. This jumper is kind of giving like Tate Langdon. Wow, look at that. It's kind of cropped. Look at these. Wow, we'll need to test out the bottoms as well. And then the high-waisted kind of jeans. Wow, I love this look. Let me quickly test out the female stuff because I kind of feel bad that I forgot about that. So this is the female stuff. It's definitely like autumn, like dark autumn vibes. There are some like neutral colors though, which is nice. Okay, we'll stick with that for marriage just now, but we'll go back to the male stuff. And we did get some stuff from Aretha, if I remember correctly. Like this jacket here. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, the browns. The kind of, oh my God, the army green. Look at this, the red. Everything looks so good. And then we also got these ones as well. I need to change the trousers for this because it kind of clips for some reason. Let me just put that on just now. But this is like a long line kind of top. It's really casual and nice with similar swatches. 
And then this is like a different two layered piece. This is great for so many different outfits like fitness, party, everyday, just casual. And then this one's definitely giving like Dom Lothario date night energy. And it'd also be great for formal as well, I think, for some Sims. But I am really happy with the haul that we got today. The CC shopping trip was definitely successful. And I hope you guys found some nice CC along with me and found some new creators that you maybe had never heard of before. And I also hope that me mentioning the Sims for a mod manager would help some of you guys too. I really needed to go CC shopping, especially for male Sims, so I'm glad that I got that done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. And I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are, and I will see you soon with another Sims 4 video. Bye!